There's nothing really like it here in Korea. High quality, locally produced beer is, you know, generally the best stuff you can get. Macro beer companies, they use uh, corn and rice. We don't use any adjuncts in our beer. It's 100% malt. We have different types of hamburgers here. We use a whole grain ciabatta, and we grill to order. Our fries are hand cut, so it comes out hot and fresh. I started working as a dishwasher at uh, Ritz Carlton in uh, LA. I went to culinary school at California School of Culinary Arts in Pasadena. Um, I became more focused on colors, on layering, on uh, textures. I went to school for civil engineering, and then I worked in the Toronto area as a civil engineer. You know, didn't really like that. That led to Korea and home brewing, and you, know, you can get all the ingredients, the hops, the malt, the yeast. You can make whatever kind of beer you want, and then with practice and progress on up with your knowledge, and then of course right up to uh, you know, taking control of the brew house. Initially, I came here on a vacation, but decided to come back, found some work. Beer's always been a bit of a passion, but if I hadn't moved to Korea, I wouldn't. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be a head brewer. We do definitely attract the Americans, and because we do original American tasting food. What's really surprising to me anyway is, you know, this place sometimes is, is packed with Koreans. You know, maybe a few years ago they didn't know so much about beer, but, you know, you, know, you see, you know, Korean ladies all drinking uh, the Jirisan IPA, you know, which is an unheard of beer in Korea, you know, just even a few years ago. Um, if you come up to Itaewon, there's Basically, you know, something for everybody. You can come, visit, hang out. With that beer culture growing and the awareness of craft beer, it gives people a chance to try it. Not just a place to go visit, but I think a place to stay and enjoy.